Um, Emily. Hi, Emily. Hi. Hi there. So you were married for 13 oh. years, but you cheated on your first husband. Yeah. On your husband yeah. first. Um, yeah. But um, but you've been with your current partner for eight years, and you uh, you've told him and your grown-up children about that affair. Um, yeah, when I split my first husband, I told him everything. I got with my new husband, um, and right from the beginning, I told him absolutely everything. Um, well, did I make a mistake? I don't know, because I'm judged for it all the time. I've given up numerous jobs um, because I can't do overnight stays at jobs. Because he doesn't um, trust you. <laughs> he says he does, um, but I don't think he does. I think because the family think if I'm out for too long a time or if I'm staying overnight, obviously... I've done it before, I'll do it again. Oh, I'd never no. do it again. Oh, no, that's and you awful. say you would never do it again? I'd, no, I'd never do it again. It's, uh, I had a breakdown because of it. It's turned my life upside down. Oh, okay. The thought of it, of what I've done, is just awful. Absolutely awful. I think you, you can't continue be, to be punished for this for the rest of your life. I mean, that's not on, is it? No, I, Emily, you've already put yourself through the works. You know, you've had a breakdown, you've had mental issues, health issues because of this, and this comes down to the guilt that you feel for making a choice that at the point you felt was the right decision because I believe you wanted to get out of your very long-term relationship. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. OK, so you made that decision and then you've confessed it to everybody, even though actually at that point you drew, should have drawn a line. So what you've done is you've found yourself in a situation now where you've used that evidence against yourself and your partner has been quick to use it against you and to such a degree where you're preventing yourself taking opportunities, going out with your friends, doing jobs that you might love. You cannot live your life, as Holly said, completely tied to something that was a one-off scenario that you regret. We're allowed regrets. So how, how does she change what people think? By recognising that you've learned. That, that was all you needed to do. You've learned from your behaviour, and now, actually, what you need to do is to recognise that people are using this to control you to some degree. I was going to say it sounds like That's a quite it. controlling situation. It's really coercive to do that. It makes you feel that you can always be battered around the head for this information. Yeah. You, you, went, you went on to say, should I leave and start again? Um, yeah, and so... well, should I leave and sort of, you know, move on and... We would love to give you permission today to recognise that you don't have anything to feel guilty about anymore. You've been faithful to your partner, you're clearly a very loving individual and you have a huge amount of responsibility to your family. What more do you need to prove? Maybe you need to go and only relate, you can sort of I have agree. somebody that comes in and sort of mediates between the two of you to make him understand that also, you know, it's okay, he can let go of this. And actually what you did was really, really honest and open and you told him all about your history. To, to, to move on. So I think that maybe... I think that's um, a really good if point. If he's not mm. hearing that, maybe to have somebody, a third a person... Third party, yeah. 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 Would you be ready to do that? Would you speak to somebody like Relate? I would. I don't think my husband would. Well, that's OK, because they can talk to you. Yeah, yeah, but that's also part of the controlling thing as so well, right. isn't it? I mean, if he wants to hear, you can't, you can't have that. You can't say, right, OK, I'm, I, I'm going to control where you are every yeah. minute of the day now. Exactly. And what's more, I don't want to hear uh, exactly. why, why we can resolve this. We make mistakes in life. We all know that. But when you recognise your mistake and you do your best to change it, you have nothing to feel bad Maybe about. Maybe show him this if you feel yeah. brave enough. Yeah, Maybe yeah, show him idea. this and then see what happens with that. But um, Thanks, look, well Emily. done. Well done for being brave enough to talk about it, but you've done nothing wrong. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.